Wrong. 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 What's up guys, Sal here. So I know it's a bit too early to talk about the Galaxy Note 10 leaks and rumors since it's not even been a week that the Galaxy S10 got launched. But I have a piece of interesting news about the Galaxy Note 10 courtesy of Sam Mobile. Their sources say that the Galaxy Note 10 will have four cameras at the back. This report is not out of the line either because we already have a 5G version of the Galaxy S10 that has four cameras at the back. One of them is a 3D depth sensor. So it was kinda expected for the Galaxy Note 10 to have the setup. I mean, Samsung needs to differentiate the Galaxy Note 10 from the S10 Plus and an additional camera would certainly help. Apart from that, I think it's gonna be very hard for Samsung to offer anything more over the Galaxy S10 Plus since they've gone all out for the S10 this time. But hey, you never know. Last year at this time, I never even imagined that the Galaxy S10 lineup would turn out to be so good, but it did. So keeping my fingers crossed that the Galaxy Note 10 would surprise us too. So I get to hear this quite a lot that the ultrasonic fingerprint scanner on the Galaxy S10 is not fast. A lot of them are also saying that it's even slower than the optical fingerprint scanner on the OnePlus 6T. First of all, the comparison between these two doesn't make much sense. You're comparing the ultrasonic scanner which is a 3D scanner to the 2D scanner of the OnePlus 6T. But I get your point and I blame people for using it wrong. We have a video courtesy of Ice Universe which shows that almost everyone who got their hands on the Galaxy S10 which includes big names like MKBHD, Unbox Therapy and more were using the ultrasonic fingerprint scanner wrong. As Ice Universe explains, you just need to touch it gently and not press and hold that as shown in the video. If you do the latter, it will only delay the unlocking time. Maybe it has to do with the flattening of the ridges on the fingerprint if you press it too hard. Maybe MKBHD will make a video about this and explain the exact reason. But in any case, the speed at which it unlocks the phone is insane. And one more reason why the Galaxy S10 is the phone to beat. Of course, that being said, let me know your thoughts. Do you have any idea why pressing it hard delays the unlocking time? Let me know. I'd love to know that. And also subscribe for daily content like this. And as always, I'll see you all tomorrow. Peace out.